Coming up next, it's a UFC light heavyweight division collision. All right, so we get another look at this high-level wrestler here tonight, DC. When it comes to the grappling, the wrestling, fighting this guy makes for a really hard night at the office. It makes for a hard night because the moment he gets close to you, it's like a fly stuck in flypaper. He sticks to you like glue. He moves from position to position seamlessly. He possesses great takedowns from the clinch, from a nice inside trip to a bear hug or a throw. He's just one of those guys that the moment he comes into contact with you, a lifetime of wrestling has shown him an amazing ability to get you to the floor. Yeah, all of that one-on-one -on -one competition, as you mentioned, great in transition. Big spot, needless to say, for him here tonight. Well, this is about as decorated a kickbox as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive knees into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxers, the high level yeah. one, from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. The American is 30, the Brazilian is 36. Anderson will have a three inch reach advantage. All right, just about ready to go here now for the particulars. We go inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC Light Heavyweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler holding a professional record of 14 wins, five losses. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Corey Anderson! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record of 21 wins, eight losses. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, he You've been giving your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves is my good Ready. So here we go, round one of this highly anticipated tilt between the strong striker and the decorated grappler. Any chance that these guys mix it up or are you just expecting they're gonna stick to what got them to the dance? I'm expecting a pretty straightforward approach from both of these fighters. Yeah. The striker will try to lead with his punches and his kicks and the grappler will try to time a takedown, time a clinch position so he can start to work towards a lot of those great judo throws that he possesses. Once on the ground, he is in his realm and will start to chase submissions. Left-right combo is good.
right hand on point. Anderson gets touched by that kick to the body. Lands a big right hand early. Knee to the body. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Nice leg kick land. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Throws the right hand there. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Anderson. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. Just over three minutes to go. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Midway through round one. Both fighters get up now. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Big ball punch land. Now we get back to range. He engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body, and eventually him switch it up with a big knee to the head. Anderson gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. So just over 20 total strikes have already landed for Tiago Mahetta Santos. Nice punch here. Oh, a collar tie. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Oh, you heard a bell with a jab. Nice counter left hook. He blocks the punch. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Nice counter shot there. Head kick lands. Nice punch lands. All right, single collar tie now. Takedown defense holds up. Keep your hands up, Come on. He is blocked. Second round, straight ahead. While we look back at some of the replays from that previous round, DC, a lot of good action for fight fans over those five minutes. I mean, high pace, high intensity, all action first round, both landed, multiple strikes. What a great round of fighting. All right, DC, second round is getting underway. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it 
it's not always gonna be. When you have two very talented fighters, sometimes... Oh! oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's gotta press him. He's gotta go chase that finish down now. Anderson gets up, but he looks dazed and confused. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found the set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. 48 total strikes have landed for Mahenta. And striking with about 48% accuracy against Corey Anderson. Comes in close, controls his opponent's posture, and lands his nasty elbow. Beautiful kick. Way to hide that leg kick. Oh, inside leg kick lands for him, DC. That was beautiful technique. He's beating up both sides of the leg. A lot of times you see guys doing outside kicks. He switched it up now, and he's beating up the inside of his opponent's leg. Nice punch by Anderson. Just over three minutes now to go in round two. So a much different approach for him here in the second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Well, he continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. He's landing them upside his opponent's head over and over again. Oh, single collar tie here. A oh, little single collar tie there. And they separate. Anderson's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Two minutes now to go in round two. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Anderson's got the tie clinch now. Hip tosses him down, now we'll see if he can advance position. I mean, right into side control. <laughs> Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, trying to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. Under a minute now in round two. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter and he's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be That proud. is gonna do it! Corey Anderson! Don't be surprised to see him win a $50,000 performance bonus by the end of the night as he stops his opponent there in his tracks, courtesy of that elbow. You know it's been a part of his repertoire for a long time. Beautiful technique. He's got a lot of power with that limb, and he certainly made his opponent pay here tonight.
All right, we go back inside the octagon to the veteran voice once more. He is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop for this contest at four minutes, 32 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Corey Anderson. Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need a ticket to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork.